Hey, are you guys ready for this? Ready for this? I am going to take you on a crazy journey on how I got to be smoking or anything like that. I mean, it's not that crazy, but still. Um, <laughs> I get this question so many times because, like, I don't know, it's crazy. I'll be like, oh yeah, to my friends, I'll be like, oh yeah, I haven't had a cigarette all day. They're like, ah, ha, ha, that's funny, you not having a cigarette, like... They know me as like a horrible chain smoker like it's crazy so i get the question a lot like um how old were you when you started smoking and just kind of like throw a little backstory on it because i thought it'd be an interesting video um i was a dumb nine-year-old who lived in the ghetto and i used to smoke people's rehashes it was like that much I don't count that as a first cigarette, honestly. I was just, like, messing around, I guess. Um, but I guess my actual first cigarette would have been when I was 12. And um, my sister had a husband who smoked. And one night, he brought me with him to run an errand and left me in the car. And I looked over and saw his pack of cigarettes. And I had smelled cigarettes before, and I was just like... Mm, they smell good like I've never been one of those people that are like mm, nasty like that kind of thing like I love to smell them um and so I jacked one of his and he came back in and was like stressed out and was like I had three cigarettes where'd the other one go and like he didn't like think to ask me anything because growing up I looked like some sweetie pie so the next morning I went and smoked it and it was a camel crush um, menthol, obviously, um, and I think it's kind of what got me started on, uh, cigarettes and menthols and whatnot. I mean, right now, I smoke marble smooths, um, I've always preferred minty, I mean, back when I was, like, 13, 14, I preferred, like, blacks, um, and that's kind of what I smoked for about a year, and then I went back to menthols, um, so, I mean, I kind of had, like, you know, a pack for, like, three days, I guess, that wasn't that horrible when I was, like, 13, and then it was my freshman year when I was 14 at my high school, um, I was known as, like, a little badass kid, because I would smoke in front of the principal's office, and then, uh, yeah, one day on Spirit Week, um, tie-dye hippie day, they were doing a little pearl thing, because they were afraid on hippie day, people were gonna be smoking weed, so I was sitting by the principal's office, like I usually do, like, usually did, um, and a couple of my friends were like, yo, the principal just came out, like, he just told us to wait for him in the office, like, we got busted, and we were sitting all the way up there, like, off the property, they were like, he's coming back down here, you should throw out your cigarette, I was like, man, I got time, wasn't paying attention, and this dude comes up, he is like 6'6", six, six, hunchback, he is a hunchback, and he is still 6'6", six, six, and he's old as fuck, like, he was scared, <laughs> and he came up to me, I was like, Threw my cigarette. I was like, and then he still smoked it. He was like, "What are you doing? Are you smoke it?" I was like, "No." So um, I got suspended. <laughs> um, but I mean, that never really stopped me. I mean, back when I was fourteen, I was like a pack and a half. Um, but I mean, I kind of had a good reason. Um, like from me being like ten to twelve, um, my sister had leukemia, and then. Like, right before my 13th birthday, she actually passed away. So, I don't know. I think that was, like, kind of, like, me coping in a different way. Not to put a sad spin on a story or anything. But, um, yeah. So, and then my sophomore year, I just kind of got more into smoking and whatnot. Um, I'm going to college right now. Um, and kind of doing a whole pack a day, which is better than what I was doing, which is almost two packs a day. Um, it should get expensive too. <laughs> so I started dating my boyfriend about a year ago, um, and he smoked too. He was kind of a little pothead. Uh, and we both decided that we kind of just wanted to stop smoking. So we invested in some uh, vape pens and they weren't the disposable ones, but they were kind of like a older model. Um, the kinds where you have to screw off the tank and then screw them onto the charger and wait forever for them to charge. Yeah, one of those. Um, and so, he's the one who got me into, like, vaping and electronic cigarettes and whatnot. Um, so I had two of those older models, um, and I probably started doing, I started vaping, I want to say, in, like, March of this year. Um, and then I kind of upgraded to the one I had now, which was a lot nicer. I mean, you could plug it into your phone charger, and I don't know, it just 
I don't know. I liked it and it was more up to date, I guess. And then um, I just recently got my mod. And I mean, when I first started smoking my vape pen, there was a time where I was like, like I would try a cigarette after my vape pen and it tasted like crap. Like it tasted like cardboard with a hint of mint. It was nasty. And I decided that I didn't want to smoke anymore. So I stopped for like a month. Um, but then kind of like tried a Camel Crush and I was like, see, it still tastes good. So I started it up again, but now that I've got my, uh, mod, I mean, it's been so helpful. Like, I will be at beauty school, and, like, I just, I can't stand to be without nicotine. Like, it, that's how it used to be. But now that I've got my mod, like, I don't crave, like, a cigarette anymore. Like, I've only, like, started, like, smoking, like, half a cigarette, and then I'll put it out because I'm like, <sighs> So, I mean, it has been really helpful, but, um, I don't know, it's just a little backstory on how I got started smoking, and... A little more about that um yeah